gas industry spent millions of dollars on propaganda. We don't believe their jobs. I know, but just water, everybody knows. We want our voices to be heard. We want to know that Southern Tier residents do not want fracking. I mean, believe me, we have gas. And we're happy about the crowds. It's a very big crowd. Do you think that these sort of demonstrations have a fact? No, but if you put it, put it in the air. The governor into additional study, additional view. I think the governor has to think really hard before he allows us to go forward because of our presence here, because of our presence all along. We've educated people, people know about gas drilling, they know about the dangers, and they know they don't want it. So, yes, I think we're having a major impact on the governor. Parked inside, pointed out, well, ready to go. It's all ready to go. So your understanding is it'll be BAE in the Huron County? Um, well, all I know is it's BAE. They've said it's BAE, but my assumption is you're on. We'll see what we can do, but it really means so much to me that everyone's here. And you know, one of the things is we should stay here while the, the bus is going to come right past you. So yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, no, we're, I'm, okay. not, I'm not editing this by any means. Okay. I think. I think what we ought to do, we're going to keep getting in information. We should keep, you know, making this day as interesting as possible for our dear governor, who could end this tomorrow if he wanted to. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Does anyone have questions about what's going on with the rule making? No, okay. <laughs> so in September, you may know that the Department of Environmental Conservation Commissioner Joe Martens and the Health Commissioner uh, Dr. Shaw met with some selected <laughs> national environmental groups, uh, notably NRDC, Natural Resources Defense Council, Environmental Defense Fund, Sierra Club, Environmental Advocates, and a bunch of others. So many of those groups, as you know, had called for an independent health assessment, which is a very rigorous analysis of potential public health impacts. So at that meeting, the DC commissioner said, we're gonna do um, a review of the health impact analysis in the supplemental generic environmental impact statement, which we know is a complete piece of crap. So the problem was that the environmentalists didn't figure out that this is a very limited, you know, this kind of review. And it turns out it's only 25 hours worth of work of a document that's thousands of pages long. So it's not really meaningful in any way. Then as you probably know, no one really figured out what was going on. The environmentalists were really confused. Then along came Superstorm Sandy, and it just consumed the DEC and Department of Health. So then we came up against this one-year deadline of November 29th to finish up the rulemaking proceeding. The rulemaking is supposed to take the supplemental generic environmental impact statement and translate it into regulatory requirements. There's a one-year deadline for finishing that. So we didn't know until last week whether the governor would let this expire or continue it. And on the very last day, he submitted a notice of continuation. But we beat him to the punch because we had a coalition letter that now has more than 2,600 signatories, including, I know, many of you. So we got press, we put pressure on the governor to try to thwart that rulemaking, but we failed. But the governor's made a terrible tactical decision 
with going forward with the rulemaking because the S-GUIS isn't done and the health review isn't done. So we're really hammering on the health review because that's the first thing that has to be completed. The scope of the endeavor has never been written down on a piece of paper that citizens can look at. There's never been a hearing. There's no public opportunity for comment at all. So you may know yesterday in Albany, we had a huge press conference. Wait, or maybe it was the day before, what day is this? Yeah, Monday we had a news conference and we got massive press coverage. So we're calling for 30 days public notice, I mean, no public notice, 30 days public comment in the hearing. And we're really pushing the governor on that. So I know a lot of you are getting my missives. Keep calling. You know, make sure we keep the pressure on him because the rulemaking has only a 90 day uh, period to finish up. So the health review and the S guys and the rulemaking could all be finished by February 29th. We do not want that, right? So we want 30 days public comment on the health review on top of the 30 day comment for the rulemaking, that'll make 60 days of public comment out of the 90 days to finish up the whole thing. And when we give them thousands and thousands of comments beginning December 12th, that could stall this whole proceeding. So our goal is to withdraw the S guys until this health review matter is settled try to delay the health review until we're sure it's going to be adequate and then finally kill the rulemaking and if we succeed in doing that good lord willing we'll go all the way through 2013 without the s guys being adopted and you know the moratorium is tied to the s guys it's not tied to the rulemaking it's not tied to the health review so our goal is to continue to make sure that no s guys gets adopted in final form. We've held it off for four years. Yes. That's the reason that New York is the first state in the history of the country yes. not to allow extraction mining until environmental and public health safeguards are adopted. If we survive for another year, we're into the 2014 election cycle. So as you know, Howard Baker, and said two hours is an eternity in politics and he wasn't kidding so